Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. In that last video, I showed you how to print out a web page that didn't normally want to print out very nicely. Well, let's say you wanted to leave this for Dad to read when he woke up in the morning, and you wanted to make some comments and highlight some sections. Well, you could get out your pen and do that on the printout, or you could use a really cool feature in the preview application that I'm going to show you. It'll let you put text on there, arrows, circle things, even highlight things. And it turns out this is not only for printouts, this is for almost any PDF file, because when you did that print preview, you actually created a PDF file. Let me go show you on the computer. So here's where we left off in the last video, where I showed you how to use Print Plus. But this could be any print job that you're doing. Um, you can see a preview of what you're about to print here. But instead of printing it, what we're going to do is go to the PDF button, and say open PDF in preview. Okay, and now this is the preview application. You can tell you've changed from Safari to preview because it says preview up here. And now I'm going to show you this great little tool inside of here called annotate. When I click on this, this little toolbar will show up down here. So let's say you want Dad to read this in the morning. So you want to write a little note on there. So I'll click on the text tool and then click up here and type mm, red wine. <laughs> and then just uh, click away somewhere and then you can click back and drag it wherever you want. And now let's put an arrow. So I'll click on the arrow tool. And it looks like I can't click inside of here, but I can I can drag it later. So watch this. I'm just going to make an arrow pointing to the red wine. There you go. But now, if I want this a little closer to the words, I can actually grab the end here and drag it over. So now how about we uh, circle this uh, title here? Well, down here is the oval tool. And the oval tool takes, you just have to practice with it to get the hang of it. You actually think of putting a rectangle around the object. So you click in one corner and then drag to the opposite corner. So you kind of like that. I didn't do a very good job there. But, oh, well that's okay because I can fix it later. There you go. And now another cool one here. Let's say you want to, uh, uh, you want to highlight this paragraph here. Well, here's the highlight tool. And you just click, and while holding the, the button down, drag to the other end. And there, you've highlighted that paragraph. There you go. So now you can go ahead and print this. And you'll have a nicely annotated printout with all the important points noted for Dad to read in the morning. Hope that helps.